church and the stages are coming back to life after a forced break during the pandemic. That's not just true for professional theater companies. Once again, many high schools are putting on productions for the first time in a long time. At Greenfield Central High School in Hancock County, their fall play is a student run production. They do everything from acting to set and costume design and even directing. Now the students plan to take their play to competition next month, but first they are giving you a chance to see them in action this weekend. I think honestly, it's just the fact that it's something new every time um, with something like sports, which I was trying, it just seemed like, you know, going over and over and over and I was doing swimming. So it was swimming laps over and over and over. And I was just tired of it being the same every time. But um, with theater, it's like just a whole new experience with every show you're doing and new challenges and new um, exciting things that you get to do for each show. There's there's an intrinsic quality to theater of community that just doesn't exist in other sports and other extracurriculars. Everyone is, it's cliche, but everyone is legitimately a family in theater. Like if you have a problem, someone will help you. Um, so when I realized that, and you can't get away from it once you get here, I was, I was kind <laughs> of hooked. Like, I don't know, I, there was just never another consideration. character, Dennis O'Finn, is a homicide detective and he answers a call for a death at an apartment across the street from his and he answers the call and after investigating he realizes that the six old ladies that are living there actually decided to have him as the motive for the crime. They are infatuated with him and in order to um, get him to come visit, they figure he is a homicide detective, so there must be a homicide in their house. And it's just the chaos that ensues after that. It's very different than any other show that we do, because any other show that we do is um, a much larger show and it's much more, I would say that it's, it's very student-led, but this is the only show that is purely student-led. And um, there are parts where Mrs. Voigt, our director, will step in and be like, hey, um, here's this suggestion, here's this idea. But for the most part, it's up to us. And I've learned so many things that um, I didn't even think, I didn't even think of a director doing, you know? You, you find yourself putting on so many different hats and um, see other people putting on these hats. And um, it's just so cool to see everyone's ideas that they've had for so long and everyone's, um, just everyone's passion for theater, just be able to be completely unrestricted and just um, the, the project is just completely ours, which is really exciting. Well, as I say in theater, break a leg. Our thanks to Coy Walden and Lexi Torres for joining us. You can see Anybody for Tea this weekend at the Greenfield Central High School Auditorium. Performances are tomorrow night and Saturday night at 7 o'clock and this coming Sunday afternoon at 2 o'clock. We have ticket information on our website. That, of course, is WRTV.com. And if you would like your high school drama production to be featured here on WRTV, all you have to do is email us. That email address is news at WRTV.com.